Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video we're going to take care of calculating the standard deviation, but we're going to have the, our Casio FX9750G2 take care of the heavy lifting. All right, so it's a fairly simple process. We got to get the data into the calculator and then it will actually calculate for us the standard deviation. So let's go ahead and move on to that process. Now remember, depending on whether our data comes from a sample or a population, there are actually two different formulas. Now the calculator fortunately will do both of these formulas, but you have to know whether your data is coming from a sample or a population. All right, so uh, the first part of this is we need to get our data into the calculator. To do that, uh, we need to get to the stat statistics menu. Now if you've been using this, usually you're in the math menu, uh, so it's really hard to tell like where that is. Go ahead and press your menu button, and then you'll have all of your different menus. And notice how the, the second one over says stat, select that one. Okay, we'll press execute, and here we have our different list where we can go ahead and store our data. We'll type in each number, and every time we'll press the execute button so it moves on to the next line. Now I got 10 numbers here, but it won't take me too long to get all of these all typed in so that we can move on to the next step. There we go, all 10 numbers, looks great. Now, all of the data is in there, so now we just need to move on to actually calculating that standard deviation. Oops, let's move this over a little bit more now that our data is in there. Now, if you look near the bottom, you have all these different options. The second option says calc, so press F2 to go into that option. Now we have one variable statistics or two variable statistics or even some regression stuff. Let's go ahead and select F1 for that one variable statistic. All right, and there is all of our information. It's added up the numbers, it's found the mean, it's added the squares, all of that good stuff. But here's where we're really looking for. We have this little sigma x and the sx. Those are our standard deviations. The sigma x is, of course, telling us, hey, I've calculated it, uh, but I think all this data came from a population. So it calculates it as 24.74. The sx says, all right, if this came from a sample, then this is the standard deviation. So 26.08. All right, and there you go. It just calculates it nice and quick. If you want to return back to your usual uh, spot for this calculator, you can go ahead and press the menu and go back to run. And then you're back to your normal spot. All right. Hopefully this video helped out. A uh, nice, good, quick one. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, definitely visit MySecretMathTutor.com.